Hello and welcome to my channel. I was tagged by Rosita Brown to do the 10 crafty questions. I'm going to try my best to answer the questions, but some of my answers may be a little different. First question, what is your name? That's easy enough. My name is Sheena Lee and my last name I don't mind saying because Lee is such a common name and common spelling. My first name, Sheena, is spelled with a GH on the end. My mother was from England and that GH on the end is much more common spelling in Europe. How did I come up with my YouTube name? Now that question is a little more involved. My channel started as B with T 1999 which stood for, um, in nice terms, biatch with tatas. The 1999 is just an arbitrary number. I got that nickname when I worked at the prison. Uh, it was given to me by another sergeant. It had to do with an interaction with a sheriff's deputy and nothing to do with inmates. It's a long drawn out story that I may share sometime, but not today. Then I changed my name to Healing Montana Nana when I was documenting my keto journey because I had reversed my type 2 diabetes and I was uh, starting to see some improvement in the nerve damage from my back injury. I've kept the name because I find crafting to also be very healing. What is my favorite craft? Well, I don't really have a favorite. Although drawing and painting were my first loves and the majority of my professional training. Where is my favorite place to shop for craft supplies? That answer is difficult. I really only have semi-convenient stores such as Hobby Lobby, Michaels and Joann's, but they're also very small stores and don't carry a lot of paper crafting supplies. Many YouTube crafters talk about uh, traveling a few hours to a neighboring town to buy supplies. That isn't possible in Montana. We are the fourth largest state in the nation. It's only slightly smaller than California and our total population for the state is just at a million people. So we have the seventh smallest population. Our closest Tuesday morning is 10 hours straight driving time through two states into Colorado. So I have never even stepped foot in a Tuesday morning. For my top five crafty YouTube channels, I'm not going to list traditional paper crafting channels because most of them have been talked about and I do follow almost 500 craft channels. The channels that I find most fascinating are AK Fielding at Trehan's Treasure Studio. She has an amazing portrait painting ability. Also, Rinska Dauna and Gina DeLuca, who both do paint pouring. And then there's Todd Andrew Cole, his channel is kind of varied, but he also does some amazing artistic work. The fifth channel I want to talk about is the pop-up channel. And if you ever want to know anything that has to do with interactive movement in cards or pop-up books, that is the place to go. He has not posted anything recently, but the information that is posted is timeless. My favorite colors are very easy. Um, I tend towards the cool spectrum. So my colors are pink, blue, purple, and the cool greens such as teal. For my favorite crafting tools, I have to say it's the basics. My art glitter glue, my score tape, and detail scissors. I do have a Cricut and Brother Scan and Cut, but I find membership to the design software is too expensive for me. 
so I rarely ever use them. The question, where did I get my love of crafting, is kind of complicated. Uh, my mother did sew a little and knit some, but she really didn't do very much. I grew up on a farm and you have to come up with your own ways to entertain yourself as a child. So we did. My sister and I would go into the hills and dig up clay and use that to uh, make sculptures. Um, also, mom started us out with mismatched socks that we could turn into clothing for our Barbies, which my sister would use needle and thread. Myself, I grabbed the glue bottle. Of course, like I just talked about, when did I start crafting? I was very young, not even in school yet, when my sister and I started making Barbie clothes. Once I was in school, one of my favorite things to do was make funny cards. My mother always kept one of my first cards that said, Butterfly, butterfly, where did my butterfly? I was in, I believe, second grade. I did start adult painting lessons when I was 12 years old, so I have been painting for most of my life. I began cake decorating when I was about 13, and then I started quilting when I was, oh, I'd say 18. After my back injury when I was 42, I was no longer able to quilt, and it's very difficult to do the kind of cake decorating that I enjoy doing. So I once again rekindled my love of card making and doing some scrapbooks. I do still draw, but it's difficult to spend the type of hours sitting at a canvas as I used to do. My favorite craft or project that I've made has to be some of the portraits I've done, but the project that is nearest and dearest to my heart is my memorial album to my great niece who passed away in February. She lived most of her 12 years on chemotherapy, fighting neurofibromatosis 1 or NF1, and passed away at the age of 12 from a neurofibroma in the brain. I'm not going to tag multiple people for this crafty questions. I'm only going to tag polite creations because the majority of the people that are subscribed to my channel have already been tagged. If you have not been tagged, please feel free to join in on this. I would love to hear the answers to your 10 crafty questions. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope I didn't bore you too much. I tried to make my answers as short as possible. Have a good day.